God says, this world is filled with sadness, pain, and hurt. But, it is also filled with joy, wonders, and beauty. Turn most of your attention to the goodness that this world has to offer. And use the pain of this world to your benefit. Allow it to help you grow. I love you. Dear God, I come before you with a heart full of gratitude for the blessing. When I am weak and helpless, please give me strength. When I am in pain and sorrow, please enter my innermost being, provide me with comfort, and strengthen my faith. Help me understand that even amid terrible circumstances or when I feel abandoned, you are always by my side, never leaving me. Lord, you are the King of Kings, the Savior of the world, and I believe that all things are possible through you. If you believe nothing is impossible for God, comment, God is my strength, shall we be friends in Christ? Heavenly Father, in the quiet of this morning, I ask for your unwavering strength to stand firm in the face of any trial. Arm me with your wisdom and discernment to recognize the snares of the enemy and to navigate through them with grace and courage. Fill my heart with your love, so that no malice or negativity can find harbor within me. Let your light so shine in me that it dispels all darkness, turning intentions of harm into opportunities for your grace to manifest. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God, give me eyes to see how I can be the answer to your prayer today. Show me how I can meet the needs of the people around me. Help me be the hands and feet of Jesus. And as I serve you, please let the way I live inspire others to serve you, too. Increase the number of people who are loving you by loving others. In Jesus' name, Amen. Dear Lord, there are so many distressing events going on in the world. It can be hard to feel your peace when everywhere we turn, there is talk of all that is in the news. You tell us to pray about everything and to fill our minds with things that are good and deserve praise, so we can have your peace. So, tonight we commit all of the things that are distressing and distracting to your hands. We ask for your help to focus our minds on things that will bring us peace. Help us to pray about what we see and hear, and leave it all in your hands. Help us to drown out the noise that surrounds us. Help us to find comfort and peace in your presence and rest in your arms. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your divine intervention in my life. I believe in your power to perform miracles and the boundless love you have for your children. I surrender my doubts and fears to you, knowing that nothing is impossible for you. Grant me the faith to trust in your perfect timing and the strength to persevere through challenges. May your miraculous touch bring healing, restoration, and breakthrough in my situation. I submit myself to your will, knowing that you work all things together for my good. Amen. Loving Father, I want to start this month with a grateful heart. Thank you for your unending provision. You provide food in abundance and protection under the shelter of your wings. You grant rest and renew my strength. You guide me along the right paths and restore my soul. Even when I am confronted with danger, you are close beside me as my shield. Lord, may the month of February be filled with answered prayers. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
God is saying to you today, they said you wouldn't make it. They said you didn't deserve it. They tried to stop you from receiving my best. My child knows that promotions and blessings come from me. What I promised you no one can take, block, or destroy. Stay in faith. I am about to overwhelm you with blessings. Trust me when I say God doesn't take things away without giving you something better. God knows when something has served its purpose even if you can't see it. God knows when things should end even if you're not ready. God is planning what's next for you because he knows that you need a change. He knows that is taking you to a better destination or guiding you to a more fulfilling life. Soul-to-soul -soul relationships are so worth their weight. Your true soulmates will understand you, appreciate you, support you, love you, heal with you, grow with you and evolve with you. They will naturally bring out your inner child, adore your old soul and make you love yourself even more. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Tilder 2 Peter 3:18. God's promises are your anchor. No matter how tired you may feel, God sees your pain and hears your cries. He's not just an observer but an active participant in your journey. Your brokenness is not the end but a chapter in the masterpiece he's creating. Embrace his love, find solace in his words. Therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Tilder Matthew 7:24. God suggests discernment in your relationships because it helps you choose friends wisely. By being discerning, you can avoid negative influences that might harm you. God wants you to surround yourself with people who uplift and support you on your journey. So, use discernment to build positive and meaningful connections in your life. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 I alone know the plans I have for you, plans to bring you prosperity and not disaster, plans to bring about the future you hope for. Amen, Tilder, if you believe it. There's something so powerful happening in the spiritual realm right now. God is moving powerfully. I truly believe we're about to see God move like never before. Stay ready and in his presence. The supernatural is about to take place. Be ready and stay expectant for sudden victories and favor. He's still God. He's still good. And he's more than able. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. Sometimes God takes you somewhere unexpected to help you become the person who can create everything you've ever wanted. Stay faithful. Take it one step at a time. Honor your promises, especially the ones you've made to yourself, and get ready. Miracles are on their way. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Amen. God allowed Peter to fall in the water, but didn't let him drown. God allowed Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den, but didn't let him be eaten. 
God will always get you out of your situation. You need to have more faith in him and stop doubting him. Amen if you believe it. Finally, brothers, rejoice. Aim for restoration, comfort one another, agree with one another, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 One day you will understand why your timing was perfect and why things had to happen exactly the way they did. To protect you, to guide you, and to redirect you to where you were always meant to be. Trust the process of your path, evolution and growth, it's all divine timing. Strange, isn't it? You know yourself better than anyone else, yet you crumble at the words of someone who hasn't even lived a second of your life. The world is filled with people who think they know you. Listen to your own voice. Only you can tell if it aligns with what you want or not. I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy, nothing will harm you. Luke 10 verses 18 to 19 As water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Proverbs 27 colon 19 for 23. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 verse 11.